What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial for the 750 skip, which skips the snack gate in the top right corner of the screen. That's the 750 snack gate. This skip will be using the umbrella, um, making it useful for the runs all monster tokens if you're not on GameCube, as well as the most important one, all bosses. In RBO you do the same skip, but you don't have the umbrella, so we're going to be ignoring that part of it and just focusing on the all bosses application. So first thing you'll notice when you enter is you'll have this camera angle. It is possible to do the skip in this camera angle, and I'll show that off um, at the end, but I would recommend, especially when learning it, getting the other camera angle, because there are some consistent setups, and to get that camera angle you can come over here and then head back this way. Now, first thing you'll notice, and it's hard to see here, but if you look on your game, you'll be able to see a dark black spot, which is counting from where Scooby's head is right now. That black line, one, two, three black lines above that, right where Scooby's max height jump is, right there, that black line. Uh, there's a little dot. You can see it probably in your game. It might be a little hard to see um, via the video because it's a little dark. Uh, but it's directly above this magnifying glass. We're going to want to do a second jump off of a piece of wood and line up that dot with the black spot on the middle of Scooby's back right there. So the first thing you're going to do is jump on this piece of wood right here. Once you're on this piece of wood, you're going to do a double jump lining up that spot I told you about with Scooby's back. Just like that, and you're going to land up here. Now, what I like to use is the same line that that dot's on. Try to aim for that line directly above this nail in the ship. Um, and above that nail in the ship, actually, if you do a double jump, you'll notice Scooby sort of hit his head up at the top of his jump. So that's, that's sort of where you're landing. So once you land up there, you're going to try to dash or just run into this corner. And you'll see Scooby's shadow. You're going to try to clip into that by running sort of towards in the ship and then a little bit out. But you don't want to run too far out or you'll clip out of the whole thing. And Scooby will wind up clipping into here. And now once you fully see Scooby's shadow on the back wall there, you're clipped in. And this is pretty, this is a pretty solid area. You can't really clip out of it. Um, and if you jump in this area facing away from the the ship it's possible to get up this way um, now if I can get back in here okay. so sometimes you'll find it difficult to jump directly up to that area that that I was jumping to uh, normally you're able to get it if you just face away from the ship and it'll clip you up but what you can also do is you can also jump down this way if you're having trouble getting that um, and once you jump down this way, you can do the same thing over on this end, and I find that a little more consistent. But, you know, try it out. I feel facing away from the ship makes that really consistent to get out of there, though. Oh, one quick note. If you're over in this thing, and while jumping, you super smash, it is possible that you actually wind up falling forever. And the only way out of that would be to pause the game and quit out, so... Not, not good. After you're done with that, there's like a bunch of collision on this uh, sort of sloped area. Just uh, find a piece of collision. So there's, there's one here. And then like that sort of goes all the way down this way. So you should, if you run past this net, you should find a piece of collision and be able to jump up. Once you're up here, what I like to do is Scooby will change his stance right here. He's from like a normal stand to when you get to a ledge, he does this sort of hunched over stance. Get that stance on the edge of this hole here and then jump into the hole. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna umbrella against this wall where Scooby is right now. And we're gonna hold up against that direction, holding almost directly left. Messed it up. You want to wait until Scooby's umbrella comes out and he falls below the hole. And then you're going to hold up against it and hold almost directly left. 
Maybe a bit down until you come down here and you'll land down in this area over here. Now, the way to get to this door is you can actually just jump around the doorway like so and you'll get on that door there and from here if you're holding directly left you won't fall off and from here you can jump up and at the very top above the door you'll actually find a place you can press X to enter the door I don't want to do it because it's gonna change the camera angle on me and I want to show off one other thing the other thing I want to show off is you can actually jump an umbrella against this wall and there's a piece of collision against this wall that'll allow you to jump again. If you do that with the umbrella, you can essentially, instead of having to jump all the way around in one go, you can do it in several different jumps, which will make that a little bit easier. Now, if you want to do that, you get pretty much as many tries as you want at that, unless you fall in the water. Now, you get one try at this other version, because once the camera shifts, it's super hard to get. But if you come over this way, underneath this area, what you can do is you can jump up from here and uh, clip the top of the entrance, barely. So if you do an extended double jump and mash X, you're actually able to enter it from this area over here. But you only get like one or two tries is it, because if you hit the thing and don't enter the door, like that, the camera angle will change and that makes seeing what you're doing in here ridiculously difficult. So, if you get this camera angle, best thing to do is to do that thing I was showing you earlier where you jump all the way around, because then you sort of get this camera angle. Um, but you can essentially enter the door a little earlier if you do uh, the strat I was showing you before. Um, let me die and reset the, the camera and try to show that off one more time. Oh, well, you know, if I'm showing off the camera angle, I should probably get the correct camera angle first. And again. Oh, occasionally you can clip out of there. It's really annoying. It just means you weren't holding um, close enough to the ship or you weren't fully on that platform up there. Nope, not good apparently. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh. Yeah, see, sometimes you wind up getting like stuck over here despite doing like the right thing. Okay. So as I said, you can do that jump from over here, but that's pretty hard to do, so I'd recommend first learning this way. And then if you mash X at the top of your jump, you can actually get into this room. Now 750 skip is almost done. All you'd have to do normally is save and quit by hitting the mystery machine, saving and quitting. When you reload in, you'll be at the entrance of the room. However, it is technically faster to clip through this wall using Fred. And so what you do is you sort of hold diagonal down right while running in and then do short hops. And what you're trying to do is short hop around when Fred's head is pulling back towards the corner so it bumps Scooby through. This trick is extremely inconsistent and I would recommend just saving and quitting. Um, it doesn't actually lose time if you can get this trick within a couple tries. But as I said, it's extremely inconsistent. Oh, there we go. We got it. It's extremely inconsistent and hard to do, but if you get it, it does wind up saving time because you don't have to quit out to the menu. And then from there, you fight Redbeard like normal. So, yeah. That's 750, Skip. Um, let me just die real quick, because if you die while, uh, after doing Fred Clip, you'll actually be put back over here. Which is the downside to not save and quitting. And if you save and quit it, uh, if you save and quit, it looks like this.
And then on this save and quit, when you re-enter, you'll be at the front of the room. You won't have to worry. So that's 750, Skip. Uh, hope this helped, Harsh, and everyone else watching. Take care, and have a good one.